In many cases, however, your firm might also own the land, buildings, or the machinery that is used in the production of your product. These are called self-owned resources, and according to economists, these costs must be included, since we are, after all, interested in all the uses that are made of our scarce resources. So, while the definition of profit as the difference between total revenues and total costs is pretty straightforward, accountants and economists still arrive at different estimates of what it's worth. This is because accountants only consider explicit costs. Whereas economists consider both explicit and implicit costs. A good example of an implicit cost is the opportunity cost of self-employment. That is, the amount of money you might have made working for someone else. Now, in calculating your economic profit, economists deduct that possible salary from your total profit. Consider the following example. Assume you're a mechanic. And you run your own repair business from a small workshop on your property. Initially, you spent fifty thousand rand to buy tools and equipment, and after your first year, your total revenue was two hundred and thirty thousand rand, and your total explicit cost was one hundred and twenty thousand rand. An accountant would do the following calculation: profit equals total revenue minus total cost. So that's two hundred and thirty thousand rand. Minus one hundred and twenty thousand rand, leaving a fine profit of a hundred and ten thousand rand. An economist, on the other hand, wants to know more than this when calculating profit. How much could you have earned if you'd worked as a mechanic for someone else? This gives us an indication of the opportunity cost of working for yourself. Let's assume you could have earned a salary of sixty thousand rand. Now remember that initial fifty thousand rand that you invested to buy tools and machinery. If you'd put it into a savings account at the bank instead, how much could you have earned in interest? This lost interest is the opportunity cost of that first capital investment you made in your business. Let's assume you could have earned ten percent per year, so interest would have been five thousand rand. The final thing the economist wants to know is. How much could you have earned if renting your workshop out to someone else? Let's assume you could have earned one thousand five hundred rand a month in rent. That would have given you eighteen thousand rand per year. So explicit costs, all your monetary payments, come to a hundred and twenty thousand rand. Implicit costs include the opportunity cost of working for yourself, that's sixty thousand rand, plus the interest lost investing in equipment instead of saving. That's five thousand rand, plus the rent you could have earned in the year renting to someone else. That was eighteen thousand rand. In other words, your implicit cost equals eighty-three thousand rand. So your total costs, explicit and implicit, amount to two hundred and three thousand rand. The profit calculation is now total revenue minus total costs. That's explicit plus implicit costs. That's two hundred and thirty thousand rand minus two hundred and three thousand rand equals twenty-seven thousand rand. Part of the implicit cost is the opportunity cost of being self-employed, and this implies that in the calculation of costs by an economist, normal profits are included. Profit is the reward for entrepreneurial ability, and since we wish to calculate the opportunity cost of producing goods and services, it must form part of the calculation of the economic cost of doing business. In other words, from an economic point of view, when total revenue is equal to total cost, it does not mean that the firm is not making a profit. It means it's making a normal profit only. What about the case where total revenue exceeds total cost, as in the example above? Well, in this case, an economist will say the business is not only making a normal profit, but also an economic profit, which is the additional return to the entrepreneur over and above the minimum payment required to keep the owner's entrepreneurial abilities self-employed.